You. Yeah, you. You're getting promoted to Fort Explore Officer of your guild. Watch this video, become an expert, and it's your job to bug people every day. Congratulations on your promotion. Greetings, Commanders. Okay, today, we gotta talk about Ford Explorer because it's that thing you gotta do every day that it's a daily, it's such a daily, and everyone hates dailies, but like, of all the dailies you gotta do in this game, right? There's like the quests, you know, you gotta check what the individual quest is, then you gotta check what the guild event quest is, and you gotta do those things to get your warps and your gold and your bonus stuff, and you gotta do quite a bit of work for those quests sometimes, not always, but sometimes, and sometimes you gotta be that officer that reminds people, hey, save your magazines till noon when the guild event starts, or don't start killing, or, you know, kill monsters, but if you're gonna only kill monsters for a few hours, do it afternoon. Someone needs to be the Fort Explorer. Not a Fort Explorer, the Fort Explorer Officer. You'll see this little tab here. This is a new feature from a couple months ago. I briefly talked about it. Now we've figured out all the fine details. My guild has gotten to Chapter 5. So every time we finish Chapter 5, it just resets to Chapter 5. And the loot is so good. You have to do the loot every day. And once you complete whatever your guild's Explorer level is, and it does vary depending on your guild success, uh, you get bonus gold, 2,000 gold for first place. This can happen every day. Second place, you know, it dwindles down, dwindles down, dwindles down. But it's free gold and speed ups and magazines. And you got to do it every day. Um, you get two chances a day. I have kindly asked my guild to leave 515 for me for this video so I can show you guys how to do it well, how to get the most out of it, and how to hit the enemy shield or the arc as hard as possible because not all gear scales the same. Uh, where did I say? There it is. That's my message. That's my macro. I don't send it every day. I don't bug my guild every day. But it's important. You know, you got to get that free gold. Everyone wants those free speed ups. <sighs> you don't want to bug the guild about it, but <coughs> they should be reminded. I apologize for coughing. Okay, and uh, all the damage you do immediately turns into purple stuff. Melange. If you're always farming melange, you want to find a quick, you know, eight to 20,000 melange. Ford Explorer is the fastest way to do it, and it doesn't cost anything. No mop-up tokens, no VIP. Uh, I shouldn't have to sell you on this thing. If you don't realize that the best event, free thing to do every time you log in is, is Ford Explorer, and you don't do it, you need to start doing it. You like doing your Explore mags, one through 30, uh, you know, six times there to get your free magazines, that's great. Get those free magazines, but don't skip Fort Explore. It's so fast. All right, let's get into the bread and butter. The guys at the UFF Theory Crafting line chat uh, have, and I, I got to give credit to Krylar. I think he matched, he did all the number crunching on this. Basically, have found out that during the Fort Explore, you do not get your research, your research buffs, nor do you get your haul buffs. So, Crit gear actually, crit gems, I should say, actually, be, well, crit gear, crit gear becomes really valuable because if you're going to use whatever tier in the front, if you if you have a lot of leadership, you may not have a full march of, of your highest troops. So tier one, tier two, tier three, if you have it, use it to fill slots because those lower tier actually do hit harder than higher tier. They just don't have the same survivability. So in PvP, they're just less viable. Uh, but what I'm going to show you in this video is how much different that can be based on their numbers. And uh, we're going to test it live. We're going to do it live. Um, so here's what we got. We've got my bullet with my with my plasma's gear and uh, some crit gear from my hoodoo. So I got crit damage. So I have to crit to get that bonus damage. I got raw attack there. I got crit damage there. So I need to crit to get that bonus damage. Uh, and it's accuracy accuracy. So I'm not getting any bonus damage or crit there. So that's actually kind of hurting me for Ford Explorer, but Ford Explorer, I do well enough. I don't need to re-gem for that. I keep my gems for PvP. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to change that out for a crit gem item and see what kind of numbers we can get. So let's jump right into it. Let's look at the percentages and we'll go with it. Let's see. We got 515 and I got two left. So let's go with it. All right. We're at 87%. And uh, let's do, all right, we'll just do it just like that. Oh, man, I don't like doing it like that. All right, for the sake of the video, we're doing it like that. All right. 87%. 87%. This video is going to run a little long as we watch the combat play out. 
Um, and the numbers, uh, they can vary a little bit, but based off what I've been reading, I think if I load up another 60% crit, my damage done to that enemy ship is going to be substantially more, maybe two times or three times as much. So I've been doing this for a few months and I didn't even know about this. What a noob. That's why you got to pay attention in the line chat. You can't just skip through everything. You got to read every once in a while, especially when the smart people are talking. Pay attention to the smart people, not me. I'm, I just take their stuff and recycle it. But um, if you're not in the line community, yeah, you know, join the line community. Seriously, you're, you're missing out. I don't know why you're still watching these videos, not being a part of the line community. Not everything makes it to YouTube. So, all right, so we're going to start hitting the ship now. We have broken through. Here comes the first hit. Oh, that was like 9 million. All right, let's see what this hit is. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, that was a crit. That was like 52 million, I think. Oh, I didn't see it. I think it was like 52 million, but huge, 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 huge. Like five times, 500% bonus damage on that crit. I don't know the math on it yet. I just know that crit helps. All right, there's 631. This is not going to be very hard. These airships suck. That's 5 million. Airships just don't hit very hard. And uh, it's not a full slot anyway. Ooh, that was a big hit. Dang it. I got to watch it. Here we go. 617. That was uh, the 8 million. No, 9 million. So the tier 2, you'll see when they crit because they hit so much harder. Ooh, 591. 585. That's 6 million. Oh, he's going to hit that slot. That slot is in my way. I wasn't lucky there. 585. There was 10 million. 10 million. Okay, so still not lucky on these crits yet. I'm hitting for 9 to 10 million on those tier 2. That's really what I care about, the tier 2, because they're the workhorses of it all. Oh, man, I keep missing. Not good. Oh, I didn't watch. 548. 5 million. Oh, we're going to go for those troops again. Come on, come on. All right, there's a hit. And 533. Another 10 million. So they're averaging 10 million. We got to get some crits in. Anyway, all right, we'll pass through that because we got to do another one after this. What was our total damage? We started at 87. And come on, 87. Oh, and I got 15,000 melange. Free melange just for damage done to the ship, guys. Free melange. 15,000, that's a lot. 87 dropped down to 59. So what is that, 28%? 28% in one round? That's actually better than I thought I was going to do. 28% is not terrible. All right, now let's try it again. But this time, we're going to lower, substantially lower uh, our our damage here. Oop. And we are going to grab some, actually, let's, yeah, we're going to grab this one that has crit crit on it. Boom. Now, tier two has a natural, I think I want to say 10%. So we're going to stack that 60 on top of that 10. So we're at 70%. Remember, we're not getting the bonuses from research here. 70% is pretty good, almost 70%. And let's see what that yields us. Um, so the number to beat was 27%. Let's see. There we go. Okay, 59 is our starting point. 59, all right. 27 is the number to beat. Not a good start for me. Give me that ghost cannon, dang it. Well, at least we got rid of that one. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, we missed. Oh, man. Not having that accuracy actually hurt us there. That's surprising. See, I don't run uh, Gemini or any other guaranteed hits on my bullet. So <laughs> every once in a while, that can happen. And of course, my tier two is going to miss. Oh, no. See, this is bad. If I'm not hitting the ship, then I'm not getting the damage. So you got to do damage to the ship. Oh, my gosh. I missed again. Man, I have a lot of accuracy gear on, too. Uh, you got to do damage to the ship to get the melange and do damage. 473. Oh, that was a 25 million hit. 473, 40. Yeah, that's a 25 million hit. Oh, man. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get through that front row. This accuracy penalty is big. It's big league, man. It's hurting. All right. Uh, huh. Next time I might drop the APOC just to keep the accuracy I lost by dropping the, um, oh, the, uh, the, the other uh, Apocalyptor. All right, here's that go. Man, this is bad news. All right, I might have to switch over to Eye of Abyss. Oof, I am not getting those hits off. That's two rows of troops not getting through. So this is turning out to be a fail of a replay. This is not what I had in mind. Oh, man. Okay, so moving forward, let's use Eye of Abyss and not the Devastation Helmet. Oh, God, we're finally through. Okay, now let's see. There's 5 million. All right. All right, here we go. Here's our first big unadulterated hit. There's 11 million, 9 million, 10, 11 million. Okay. So the damage did go up about 10%, surprisingly. I guess that's the difference between the... Here we go. 
398. Uh, no, no, that was 16 million. That wasn't bad. 382. That's 5 million. All right, what is this? What do we got? 5 million. Yep. 376. Oh, 37 million. Four, 37 million back to back. So those crits are hitting for instead of 11 million, 37 million. That's huge. That is huge. So damage is, and, and I'm landing more crits. So the number to beat was 27%. And what did I end up doing? 29 or 59 went down to 59 went down to up oh, 16,774. So not that much harder. It did go down. So I got uh, 25, 27, 32, 32%. So I did a little more damage. Um, that was substantially hindered by the first two rounds being wasted on that slot two. I lost a lot of damage there. Um, next time I'll throw, I have abyss on my helm and that way I won't miss so much, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the theory. Crit really helps, and you want to get to 100% crit, especially in your tier two, since that's if you have a really high leadership, that's going to help out. So uh, use those crit gems for maybe an off piece of gear you don't need necessarily. If you're infantry, you can go with uh, some of that that legendary gear. If you don't have that full blown, you know, epic legendary gear yet, uh, what's the infantry stuff called? God, I think I sold it all. I don't even have it. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> Jeez, I think it's whisper. Yeah, infantry crit. All right, so you can get it off one weapon there. And since I use tier two infantry, that would probably be better for me. Um, but man, losing that, that accuracy hurt. But um, yeah, I mean, I picked up 3% there. That's not what I was hoping for. You definitely can do better. I think it was because slot two was in the way. Uh, if you're using guaranteed hit skills, you'll probably pop right through that a lot better than I did. Uh, but yeah, go out there, man. Explore that fort. You know, every other second, third day, just remind your guild. Hey, guys, go out there and do the fort explorer. You guys need to get that free gold. Get that free melange. Get those free super equipment chests. Get those free speed ups. You got to do it every day, guys. I know, I know, daily suck, but that's one of the best ones to do, if not the best, hands down. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you. And if it did, you suck at Ark of War.